Welcome, age of vintage society. Age is just a number. Some people are way older than others, who are the same numerical age. These powerful words of Tina Louise are an indication that she has always been truly open to life and ready to welcome love at any age. Tina Louise. How an introverted girl turned into a Hollywood siren. The iconic American actress Tina Louise won our hearts with her roles in classic films and TV shows. But did you know that her love life was the subject of gossip? You're about to learn about Tina Louise's turbulent love life and all the untold truths. This is going to be a roller coaster ride of emotions and tantalizing revelations. So get ready and keep watching till the end. The importance of Tina Louise in Hollywood cannot be overstated. She's been dubbed the most beautiful redhead and her image and reputation have lasted a lifetime. Not only was this gorgeous Hollywood actress mesmerizing millions, but her steamy romances and career choices also made headlines. There has been only one time when Tina has not made headlines and that was in 1934 when she was born. Now that we have travelled back to the time when she was born, let us tell you a little more about her early life, especially for those who don't know Tina Louise. Born and raised in Brooklyn, Tina's rise to fame has been nothing short of a roller coaster. She used to be shy and introverted as a kid. You might be wondering how an introverted girl evolved into a screen siren, and the answer is her mum. Since she was a child, Tina Louise had an apparent love for singing and dancing. Her mother enrolled her in dance classes, which helped her overcome her shyness and gained her confidence. Growing up in a Jewish home where education was considered more important than anything else, Tina found that her true passion lay in performing arts, and yes, she was capable of becoming a Hollywood icon. What does it take to be a Hollywood icon? What do you think? Do you think it's talent, charisma or beauty? Or a combination of all three? Tina Louise had it all. She embodied Hollywood glamour with her gorgeous red hair and charismatic smile. She was dubbed the most beautiful redhead and her image and reputation were as impressive as her talent. But what made Tina Louise truly special was how she was able to bring her characters to life on both big and small screens. Known for playing strong and glamorous women, Tina made audiences feel captivated by her natural beauty. As an actress, her talent was undeniable, and she quickly became one of Hollywood's most sought-after performers. We often think that happiness and love are the by-products of success, and if success comes with beauty, how can we not assume that love is easy to find? Unfortunately, that wasn't the case here. Despite being a sex symbol of her time, Tina Louise struggled to find love and happiness in her personal life. Her life has been filled with a series of ups and downs, twists and turns, and a lot of drama. It is no secret that she has been involved with several high-profile men, but her relationships have been characterised by turbulence and uncertainty over the years. One of Tina's most notable relationships is with actor Adam West, who played the iconic role of Batman in the 1960s television series Batman. The two started dating in the early 1960s, but their relationship didn't last. They had different lifestyles and priorities, which strained their relationship, according to Tina. Then in the 1960s she met a successful radio personality, Les Crane, while she appeared as a guest on his television talk show, The Les Crane Show. They started dating soon after and got married in Las Vegas. Looks like she finally found true love. Unfortunately, no. There was a lot of turbulence and drama in their marriage. Les was a successful radio and TV host, while Tina was a rising star in Hollywood. It was their busy schedules and conflicting priorities that ultimately caused a strain in their relationship, and they eventually grew apart. Aside from that, there were also rumours of infidelity on both sides, which contributed to an even further deterioration in their relationship. Despite efforts to discuss their issues and work through them, Tina and Les divorced. Besides her difficulties with marriage, Tina has also spoken publicly about the difficulties she has had finding lasting love. 
In her interviews, she expressed a desire for a compatible partner who shares her values and interests, but has also acknowledged the challenges of dating as a successful and independent woman in Hollywood. Even with these setbacks, Tina didn't give up on love and remained persistent to seek a meaningful relationship. Even at the age of 89, she didn't stop looking for true love. Surprised? Well, before we dive into that phase of her life, there were much more twists in her career. Obviously, Tina's experience in love and relationships has influenced her acting and creativity. Maybe her personal struggles with marriage and romance influence the way she portrays complex, nuanced characters, and that's why she takes on challenging, emotionally resonant roles. And it was definitely not easy in an industry that was not always welcoming to women. Women weren't taken seriously in the 1950s and 60s when the entertainment industry was mostly male-dominated. It is true that Tina Louise faced several challenges since the beginning of her career, and the biggest of those challenges was being typecast as a sexy bombshell, which severely restricted her opportunities to showcase her acting abilities. Tina's image as a guy magnet got even stronger when she posed with another upcoming starlet named Jane Mansfield for the 1958 Fredericks of Hollywood catalogue. The pictorial layout Tina did for Playboy magazine in May 1958 further cemented her sex symbol image. When Tina got her first movie role in 1958 in God's Little Acre, it wasn't her typical girly eye candy role. It was a dramatic one. She turned down little Abner because she wanted more serious roles, wanting to distance herself from her sex symbol image. She just wanted to be known for her talent and not for her beauty. She did everything for that before finally landing her big break, and when she got the part, it was a role that changed her life forever. The glamorous Ginger on Gilligan's Island. Tina won hearts around the world with her performance as Ginger. Beauty and charm made her an instant star, and her character became an icon of 1960s pop culture. Even though it was her big break, Tina didn't feel that way. It was not what Tina expected, and she even decided to quit the show. As far as she knew, Gilligan's Island was about movie star Ginger Grant's island adventures. The rest of the characters didn't even have names. It was an open call for Gilligan and the skipper. Jerry Van Dyke and Carol O'Connor were first choices, then Bob Denver and Alan Hale Jr. It didn't matter, right? Tina Louise was the star, she was told. She was a star then. There had been no major scandals, society page gossip, magazine pictorials or movie and Broadway roles for anyone else in the cast for nearly a decade. Neither the other cast members were photographed nor treated like royalty like she was. Originally, Ginger was supposed to be a wise-cracking Lucille Ball type, but when Tina was cast, it was quickly changed to a Marilyn Monroe type sex goddess. So that's where the problem started. There's still a lot we don't know about Tina Louise and Gilligan's Island. As an example, Tina Louise and Bob Denver worked together before the movie. Surprised by that? Well, Denver and Louise had starred in a summer surf movie called For Those Who Think Young, months before Gilligan's hit the airwaves. There were also Ellen Burstyn and Nancy Sinatra in the same teen comedy. There were a lot of brilliant performers besides Bob Denver. Tina Louise was a fan favourite. Throughout her portrayal of the glamorous Ginger Grant, Louise stuns her viewers with her incredible looks and amazing costumes. Although fans loved Ginger, Louise has expressed reservations about the role. It seems like everything is going well on Gilligan's Island, but then what made Tina Louise quit? Was it a complicated relationship she had with the show's cast members that caused her to leave? Maybe it was something else. Well, get there. Several sources claimed that Louise and her co-stars were at odds during that time. Apparently Louise wasn't happy with Gilligan's Island's slapstick nature, which intensified the situation. Several reports say Louise thought she would be the star of the series, not just a member of an ensemble. Louise was also spotted sitting alone during rehearsals, away from the remaining cast members, refusing to interact with anyone. No cast member was allowed to leave the show until their character did. Because of that, Louise had to see Gilligan's Island to the end. In the end, she ended most of her ties with the show. She has claimed several times that Gilligan's Island ruined her career. 
She worried the most about typecasting, which is a common fear among TV stars. In an effort to forget the world of comedy, Louise tried her hand at more dramatic roles, or maybe more mature or darker roles. This led her to appear in a few episodes of Chips and The Stepford Wives. Several reunion movies were made after the show ended, but Louise refused to return. Tina Louise's acting career is odd for a couple of reasons. In the 50s, she built up a great reputation as a bombshell. As the 1960s progressed, she took on more serious projects to escape this image. That's fine, we can all understand an actress wanting it, but this makes you wonder, why did she play a bikini bunny in For Those Who Think Young? What's more, why was it she enjoyed and really pushed Ginger's overtly sexy image during Gilligan's Island three seasons? In any case, as we ponder these questions, we can only say Tina Louise is universally loved for her wonderful, hilarious, often brilliant role as Ginger Grant. Yet she was a lot more than Ginger. Her versatility made her capable of playing a lot of different roles. Tina delivered depth and complexity to every character she played, from sultry sirens to strong women. Her fame never got to her head, though. In the process, she remained humble and dedicated to her craft or was striving to improve as an actress, and of course remained optimistic to find love. Though she didn't get into any romantic relationships after the divorce and kept working, that doesn't mean she's not interested in dating. How about if I told you love knows no age? Even after a divorce and six decades since Gilligan's Island ended, Tina Louise still believes in finding her soulmate. Having a heart that feels young, she hates being known by a number and thinks age is just a state of mind. Even though Tina has been focusing on her work, she wants to go out and fall in love again. In fact, upon asking whom she wants to be with, if Tina's stuck on a deserted island, it turns out one modern-day personality she likes is John Oliver, the late-night talk show host. He's the perfect candidate for Tina's company because he's witty and charming. And when she was asked about her favourite co-star, she admitted to having a soft spot for the late actor Jim Backus, who played married millionaire Thurston Howell III. You might be wondering why Jim. The fact that he has an evenly balanced personality and a great sense of humour is certainly one of the reasons. She finds him calming and respects and appreciates him deeply. Surprised? Why was she talking so fondly about her co-star from Gilligan's Island? Well, she talked about all her Gilligan's Island co-workers with the same excitement. With the passing years, her thoughts on Gilligan's Island have changed. She appreciates her role on Gilligan's Island despite any issues she may have had in the past. Ultimately, she received a name, a place and a career based on that performance. In the end, it gave her the chance to make a difference by sharing joy. The way Louise appreciates her career and the cast members on Gilligan's Island shows how gracious and humble she is. As Tina's legacy goes beyond her acting, she's been a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, paving the way for the next generations of female stars. It's her refusal to let her beauty define her, and her willingness to portray complex and multifaceted characters that have made her a role model for aspiring actresses around the world. Besides that, her philanthropic work and advocacy for environmental causes have made Tina popular with fans and admirers. With her platform as a celebrity, she's made a positive impact in the world, and her dedication to social justice and environmentalism has inspired a lot of people. As an icon of glamour, strength and resilience, she's made a huge impact on Hollywood and society. Whether it was about her love life or career, Tina's journey has been marked by challenges, but she has persevered with grace and resilience. Along the way, she's learned valuable lessons and continues to inspire others with her strength and optimism. Tina Louise is a breath of fresh air in a world that can often feel despairing and jaded. Instead of letting age define her, she lives life to the fullest with no boundaries. The story of Tina Louise shows how a positive attitude can make all the difference in life. So let's learn from Tina's perspective on life and love. The age of a person isn't important. If we have an open mind and heart, we can find love at any age. Our soulmate may be right around the corner waiting for us to find them. You never know. This positivity helps you to find peace even in a storm. After all, at the end of the day, 
The only thing that matters is how peaceful you are with yourself. But wait, the fun doesn't stop here. In our next video, we dive into the life of Hollywood's most feared badass woman, Lupe Velez. Trust me, you won't want to miss it.